injured, and it's going to be something that I'm going to have to work through over the course of the, the rest of this year. And uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. I, I'd like to say that that'll be uh, right after the All-Star break, but we're not positive yet. Um, you know, I threw a little bit today, and we'll probably take a couple days off and then throw again over the All-Star break. And uh, hopefully be able to make a decision, hopefully, um, when we, right when we come back, when we're in Texas at some point. Kevin, a few days ago, I was listening to the Twins broadcasters, and, and they were referring to you, you just won your 10th game, and there was references to appearing in the All-Star game, and then a few days after that, I hear about a visit to a specialist to, uh, to look at your wrist. How does your faith sustain you? You know, that, that is quite the roller coaster. That, that's like whiplash. Um, how does your faith sustain you at a time like that? Um, you know, well, my faith for me uh, has always been a constant, and uh, you know, it's been something that I grew up with. Uh, I went to a Christian grade school, and um, my parents, who, you know, my dad is still my best friend, and he's still the guy that I call when things go poorly and when things go well, um, and he's always been the one to say, listen, um, the most important thing in your life is not baseball. Um, as much as, as he wants it to be family, he said it's not family. Uh, it's not friends, it's not money. Uh, it's the most important thing in your life is your relationship with Jesus Christ and the fact that he's died to save you. Um, and uh, it's something that, that uh, he has never let me forget. And, uh, you know, I, I thank him every day for that. And it, it's something that, uh, you know, when you receive good news uh, and bad news, when you win and when you lose, um, you know, I think you start to realize that uh, this may not be all there is for you. Um, you know, God has a plan, whether it's uh, going out there and, and starting the All-Star game or, or um, never getting a chance to pitch again. You know, I've, I've been so blessed to do the things that I've done already in this game and to meet the people that I've met and to touch the people that I've touched. Um, you know, I'm confident in saying that uh, the Lord's plan is, is all that I need. Last. Is there a closing verse? This is a little bit putting you on the spot. I could, I could always prompt you, but is there, is, there a, uh, is there a verse that comes to mind that you'd like to at least make a reference to? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a verse that, uh, you know, kind of came to mind to me the, the first time that I really struggled in Major League Baseball. Um, it was after a, a very poor start in an old Yankee Stadium in uh, 2007, and I was sent down promptly thereafter. Um, and uh, I remember calling my dad and talking to him, and calling my baseball coach and talking to, to him and um, my baseball coach you know just kind of said you know never never forget um, you know your, your to-do list for the day and just kind of referencing you know uh, I would always walk into his office in the morning and ask him how things were going and he had a to-do list you know uh, make sure I line the field make sure I call these three high school seniors make sure uh, I tell my wife I love her and at the top of that list every day was put Jesus Christ first today um, and he would always, you know, say to me and, and remind me of the verse in, in Zechariah 4-6, um, where Zechariah is, is, is saying, you know, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Um, you will fail um, in your own life. You will have failures. You will have troubles. And um, if you rely on your own might and by your own strength, things are going to be tough for you. But if you can just lean upon the spirit of the Lord, um, he will see you through.